you might be wondering what it says why should you learn it in 2024 and why can't you just keep using the same old regular familiar css now it's a popular misconception that sas is a css framework which is not true sas is not a framework it is actually a css preprocessor it was a scripting language or it is a scripting language that was invented to streamline your workflow by making your css more readable um and just make it you know avoid redundancy and make it a lot um, faster to write css so it introduces things like nested rules nested properties the ability to use variables as well as things like selectors inheritance and most importantly mixing so we're just going to go through a basic example of uh, sas code and how you can install it and how you can compile it so one thing to note is that there are two major syntax when it comes to sas um, the old one uh, which doesn't use curly brackets and the newer one s which has an extension of .scss3 or .scss which um, was invented to make to, to look more alike um, css regular css and so developers don't have to you know so there won't be a huge um, or the learning curve um, for learning the actual syntax of language won't be as steep compared to um, CSS, which most people are already used to. So now let's take a look at um, our CSS code. So here we can see of uh, that instead, um, let's say we want to um, assign um, a value to a, for a color. So normally what we would do is that for every um for every css um element we're gonna you know have to use the same color and this is this is a problem because we're gonna have to keep writing the same thing over and over again and with scss we can actually make this a lot easier and by defining variables and we can see here that my white um, font and my color has um, with reusing the variables um, assigned uh, we assigned a value to these variables and so here in the body all I just have to do is insert that variable and um, and it's important also to note that um, browsers um, cannot um, process SCSS and that's why it has to be compiled on our machine before deployment to production so as you can see also um, you are able to nest functions or nest um, properties um, as well as rules so in, in normal CSS you would have to do this um, you would have to say nav ul um, nav li and nav a and but now you can actually nest them under each other and um, this is really much faster and um, it looks I think it looks more um, more compact um, you could also say and lastly you could also do mixing uh, which is sort of like um, defining uh, a set of rules which can be um, imported using the include directive so let's say um, we created a set of rules like color font size um, font wave and butter and now let's say in your header elements um, you can just have with this include di um, directive you can um, include all these properties and it's gonna apply for the header and also in the in the mixing itself you can add um, include and include other um, other mixing um, that you have earlier defined and to to um, to compile this to normal CSS uh, you want to make sure that you have node installed and npm installed and make sure you have sas on your machine by running npm installed sas uh, which i already have and to compile this to normal css you're going to want to do sas as we can see here um, the name of my file is styles.scss uh, which is the name you're going to the file extension you're going to want to use .scss for sas files so sas styles um, dot scss and we're gonna comp be compiling that to our regular css styles dot css click enter and now a new file should be generated called styles.css and this is the file uh, that browsers can read 
and oh and by the way this wasn't I need to save this first um, I'm just gonna do that again because uh, it, it compiled my old file so so um, now a new file is generated and this is what browsers can read just like I said earlier and um, as you can see um, there is a huge I mean there, there is quite a difference between our style of CSS and our style of SCSS and you can see that this kind of looks better um, no redundancy while here um, you have to you know manually insert um, the values and yeah so that is it all about um, SAS and CSS and so in in um, summary um, SAS is not I don't think SAS is gonna um, go out of use anytime soon because it's not a CSS framework as most people think it's just a way to make writing code a lot easier and as long as frameworks like angular react and um, stuff exist um, you're still gonna and you're gonna you know as long as we're still style on the web and um, there's gonna be a use for SAS. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.